Today we're talking about a concept that I know a lot of you guys probably already know about, but honestly, none of you guys are actually implementing it into your gameplay. I know I'm guilty of it. I'm trying to be better at it. So I'm here today to help you also get better at it, be safer, punish better, and to win more games. Let's get into it. Take it one step at a time. Subscribe here for more fighting game content and let's talk about this. So this concept is called hit confirming. I'm sure you've heard that, but what does it really mean? So let's talk about safety first. I'm not OSHA, but we have to go over it. Your fastest move in the game is just your one, which is seven frames on startup. So when a move like this is negative 11 on block advantage, that means after block, Lee May takes 11 frames to recover when my opponent's fastest move is seven frames so they can hit me before I recover, meaning this move is not safe. So you don't really want to throw out moves like that that are not safe with that being said most special moves in the game are definitely not safe especially your wake ups in fact all of Lee Mei's moves are just they're just not safe the closest we got is negative 17 and that's not great and why this is so important is because a lot of times especially in Mortal Kombat you're gonna be ending strings off with a special move of sorts and as you're doing combos in Mortal Kombat 1 you are typically inputting the inputs before the combos actually done so I'm gonna do one, two, four, down back three. One, two, four, down back three. The combo was still going after I'd already done the inputs. That's good and all, but the problem is if I do that, I'm technically making myself unsafe when I shouldn't be because Lee May's one, two, four combo here is negative four on block. So that by itself is safe. So if I just did that string, I would be good. Even if they blocked it, I could block before they could hit me. But the problem is I'm now ending that string with my down back three, which is negative 23 on block. Thus it's not safe. And this of course can be said for any safe string that you might follow up with an unsafe special move. The idea here is you want to make sure you're actually not doing one, two, four, down, back, three. You only want to do that down, back, three. If you see visually the combo hit, you are confirming that the string was hit first, then doing your special move. Now I'm doing one, two, four, it was hit, down, back, three. So it is still very quick. You have to react very fast. Yes, but you're not just inputting, you know, one, two, four, back, forward, four. That's super unsafe if they block it. But as soon as I see my one, two connect, I'm gonna finish it with my back forward four because they're not gonna get out of that. So I confirm the hit, then back forward four. And you can get a full combo off of that. That being said, you can do unsafe strings and use cameos to help make you safe. There's a big controversy on that idea, but it is a thing in the game you definitely can do. Like for an example, Scorpion, his overhead if blocked is actually now safe, or it makes you safe at least, whereas before it didn't. So Lee May's forward four is negative 11 on block. It's not safe, but I can do forward four and then Scorpion's overhead cameo move. Now I'm safe. There's a couple cameos that allow you to do that as well. Striker's one of them, Scorpion's one of them. The idea is you want to make sure you're actually confirming your hits before you input the special move. Because if I see my opponent blocking like this, I do my special, I am now super unsafe. I'm going to get punished. That's on me. But if I do this and I see they blocked it, I'm not going to finish with that special move. So that way I'm at least safe to block. This applies to every character, every safe string, every unsafe special. This applies to just fighting games in general. I'm guilty of it. I need to get better at it. It can be hard, especially in a fast paced fight where you're just going back and forth and you want to throw out those specials, but that's how you lose. That's how I lose a lot more than I should be because I'm just throwing out these crazy unsafe specials that are blocked. I'm like, well, that's on me and I'm going to get punished. That also, of course, applies to fatal blows because fatal blows are typically, you know, negative 33 on block. So they're like super unsafe. So you don't usually want to throw out your fatal blow just for funsies. You can if you see the attack coming, you probably get armor on it, but it's super unsafe. So they do block. You're going to get punished. Pretty quick video here today to help you just get better at hit confirming to know how exactly it works and how to implement it more inside your gameplay. If this video helped you, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe here for more fighting game content let me know any other tips you want to give down below take care out there i'll see you in the next one until then take it one step at a time